Here we go again. Would you believe that your fiber supplement may contain lead? When consumer lab tested fiber supplements, these were the brands that either failed their test or were conditionally accepted. And conditionally accepted means the brands only failed if you took the maximum amount of fiber suggested each day. The first brand is actually a surprise to me. It's a Walmart brand. It's the Equate Dietary Fiber Orange Smooth Flavor. Equate fiber supplements failed because testing revealed it had 6.5 micrograms of lead per serving. This means if you took it at the recommended six servings per day, you'd be getting almost a whopping 40 micrograms of lead daily. Next up is Console Dietary Fiber, which was rated as conditionally accepted because it had 1.6 micrograms of lead per serving. Now, if you use Console Fiber at the suggested three times per day recommendation, you'd be getting almost five micrograms of lead daily. I was also surprised to see the most well-known fiber supplement on this list, and that's Metamucil. Metamucil 3-in-1 fiber had 1.1 micrograms of lead per serving, which if you used it at the suggested four times per day, you'd be getting about four and a half micrograms of lead daily. Also surprising to me was Now Psyllium Husk Caps. Now Psyllium Husk contained 0.8 micrograms of lead per serving. This means you'd be getting 2.4 micrograms of lead per day if you used it at the suggested three times daily. Now on the plus side, none of these brands exceeded levels for arsenic, mercury, or cadmium. And for those who are curious, Swanson Psyllium Husk, Citrusel, and Organic India Psyllium were all consumer laptop picks. 